Now to UT football. Painful loss at Missouri in more ways than one. Longhorns drop out of the rankings. Both polls, they fall out of the top 25. Still remain 23rd in the BCS standings, but really that's inconsequential. Final trip to Missouri. First drive, Mizzou was rolling, but then Emmanuel Acho, he had a monster game, and he strips right there. Jordan Hicks pounces on it. Longhorns get the ball, and then just a couple of plays in. Fozzie Whitaker makes a cut on that carpet at Missouri that is not the best in the country, and Whitaker with a season-ending and UT career-ending torn. MCL and ACL. More on that in a moment. Same drive and David Ash finds Marquise Goodwin, but that only leads to a field goal. Again, no Fozzie, no Joe Bergeron, no Malcolm Brown. So Jeremy Hills off the bench, 11 carries. That doubles his total from this season where he played in only mop-up action. And then Longhorns. They give up a big play leading 3-0. James Franklin to TJ Moe. Franklin is actually Missouri's power back, and he scores the touchdown to give Missouri a 7-3 lead. Longhorns play in defense on third and four. Looks like they hold. Devon Moore gets lit up by Kenny Vaccaro, but they call a personal foul, hitting above the neck unnecessarily. That keeps the drive alive, infuriates the coaching staff. And on the very next play, Kendall Lawrence on a little option. You see the block on Emmanuel Acho, just enough to spring Lawrence. And just like that, it is 14 to three. Longhorns limited on defense. Keenan Robinson leaves early. He's got a cast on his right hand. And then it happens on defense after a block punt. Longhorns playing great defense. They get the stop, hold them to a field goal. And then Missouri's top running back, Henry Josie, suffers a season-ending knee injury. Block punt for the Longhorns. Look at that. Marquise Goodwin was waiting to catch it for a touchdown. Hits the bottom of the crossbar. Instead, it's a safety. So it's 14 to 5 instead of 14 to 10. Horns again struggled on offense. Neither quarterback David Asher, Case McCoy could get it going. 16 of 36 combined. They only rushed for 76 yards. They were averaging over 240. It all adds up to a 17 to 5 loss. Obviously, their defense played much better than our offense. I thought our offense uh, um, didn't play well throughout the day, and I thought that was evident. They stopped our running game, and we had the inability to throw the ball downfield. Obviously, we thought we were going to have Fozzie, so he was going to be a big part of it. And then we thought we'd have Joe and, and uh, Malcolm for maybe 10, 15 plays each. So we thought we could spread it around, give Jeremy some if we needed to. Uh, but uh, everything had to change, and obviously, we didn't. it didn't work very well. There was a few times I tried to force deep balls that I shouldn't have, that I should have taken underneath stuff. Um, and then there's other times where you're playing straight up man and you're just kind of finding your best matchup. It was a momentum shift, you know, like you think you got third down stop and then all of a sudden a big coming like that, I mean, it kind of brings you down when you're out there. I let it get out on the next play. If I don't let it get out, then nobody's talking about the penalty. So you win some calls, you lose some calls as part of the game. And we just have to, we got to keep fighting. You have to keep playing past that. We said it last week that we didn't want to stop at six wins. Uh, we still got more games to play, and um, we're a better team than what we showed today. So, um, you know, we start by, by preparing on Tuesday and learning our next opponent. And uh, we're going back home to defend our house for the last time this season. And that's, that's definitely going to be huge for all the seniors and the entire team. Again, back to Fozzie Whitaker. Season and UT career comes to an end with that knee injury. He will have surgery. Whitaker was having an outstanding senior year. He was so valuable in that wild formation. In fact, he had six touchdowns, averaging about six yards per carry. And then against Oklahoma, the lone bright spot with the kick return for a touchdown. And then he does it again against Oklahoma State. He was leading the nation in kick return yardage. And again, so impressive the way he ran the football so hard. But an injury-riddled career ends in injury for the senior from Pearland. Certainly an outstanding, productive player, but also one of the top leaders on the team. Foz has been a leader of this team uh, beyond this year. He's been a leader since the day he stepped on, stepped on campus. So um, it's tough. I've known Fozzy for four years now. Uh, he's one of my best friends, and it's going to be tough to not see him out there. But I know he's, he's the right guy for it. Uh, he has the character and the mindset to get through anything, and uh, there's no doubt in my mind he'll rebound from this.